Oh my goodness, what a mess. Good afternoon, gang. It's the drunken one. I am out in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So here it is, like the fourth or fifth of uh, of uh, 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 January, and uh, still pretty nice weather. Short sleeve weather still. Not really. It's kind of gums and goes. I think it's supposed to get down to close to freezing tonight. But anyways, I am gonna start working on this stuff out here. Let me turn the camera around, and I will show you. Okay. What a stinking mess. All right. So everything obviously is dead at this point. Uh, and uh, so, uh, yeah, I got to do some cleaning up. This is the majority of the crap over here. Is all these, and it's just got done raining. This has been our first sunny day out there. It's beautiful and sunny. Uh, but yeah, I got some things to clean up around here. These are all the flowers from last year. Those need to go away. And I'm gonna try to do it without disturbing their little uh, the seed pod thingies, which are the little hop-looking things that are hanging down there. You can see some of those. Anyway, those are the seeds. So I'm going to try not to disturb those too much and get them out of here. I've already done a little bit um, the other day. I guess it's been a couple weeks ago, come think of it. That pile over there, so that needs to go away. I'm going to put it all in the burn pile over yonder. And so, yeah, this needs to be cleaned up here. This is where the collard greens were. And oh, I sure miss them. They were around for several years. But, uh, yeah, they're gone now. So, uh, yeah clean this up. I'm going to have the flowers back over here again like I did last year to encourage the uh, the birds and the bees. But this stuff on this side, uh, negative. I ain't done it. I ain't done it. And then um, we've had a, we've had some light freezing enough to uh, to kill off the asparagus. So this all needs to be brought back down to about a ground level. You see that little green fern stuff there. It's still, it's still a little bit life in it, but um, that's all good. And remember, these have got to, uh, what gets cut out of here has to get pulled out of here. Don't mulch it on top of the old asparagus. And I'll see those guys come springtime. So I need to just mulch everything under and uh, clean out all this stuff here. I've collected some uh, pine needles and that's about the only option we have <laughs> down here at my house anyway. Dad doesn't have as many pines up at his place up the uh, yonder way. But yeah, I just need to do some just general cleanup out here because, well, it's looking pretty crappy. It's a beautiful day. Like I said, it's the first time it hadn't rained in, in a week, so I uh, figured I'd get outside and do something. <laughs> these are the old, <laughs> these are the old uh, green onions. That's like the only thing alive in here. Uh, they're huge now. Uh, a buddy of mine pulled some out, and if I remember, I will try to put a picture in right here. Yeah, those are some pretty big ones, huh? So anyways, yeah, I'm going to uh, just kind of clean this place up a bit until uh, I run out of things to do or run out of energy, whichever comes first. About lunchtime, so I might slip on inside and grab me some lunch, but yeah, it's a mess out here. All right. Did I say run out of energy? Nah. This is drinking what we're talking about, right? All right, so I got a pretty good start on it. Probably about 20 minutes work, maybe. Got to go back through and tighten it up a little bit, but... All in all, I made a pretty good first pass. That's all the stuff from out of there. The sun has come out. I'm not gonna point you toward the sun, but anyway, the sun is that direction, coming through the trees, and it's lit all this up and warmed it up even more. So that's awesome. Yeah, I just need to go through, and uh, this is gonna be a little more detailed in the sense that I need to cut it down to the ground. The rest just kind of pulled out as I was going through with the, uh, with the garden rake. So uh, I think that's the best way to go about it. So I got those piles down there of the, uh, the mulch I'm about to throw in here, which obviously is not going to be enough. But I need to get those moved, I guess, to where I can work on these next couple of rows. Uh, got these done pretty good. Uh, beer powered. It did it. It did it. So actually, I guess I'm going to try to I'm gonna move those piles over to uh, the asparagus row and uh, get them pretty much cut down. Um, I know I'm gonna have to come back to here again at some point, but this will be a good first installment for this year is to get some work done out in the garden. Uh, I don't know that I'm gonna make it all the way across today, but uh, I've got like a third of it, I guess. This is, uh, there's one, two, three, four rows there, and then the asparagus. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna move that, that mulch stuff over yonder way, over to the asparagus, and then uh, at least do the part up to the tree. 
So see, I still got, if y'all been around since last year or whatever, you remember that there's, there's a few more rows up here. There's a uh, one pretty much in front of you. They're hard to tell where they're at. You kind of got to know where they're at. This is a wide walkway right in front of me. And then uh, there's two, two rows and then a bigger walkway. And then up front, I usually keep um, things that are sprawling, like uh, uh, squash and, and uh, things like that. I generally keep, I know I'm supposed to be doing crop rotation, but I generally have my uh, uh, cucumbers along this little fence line here, a little rickety fence line. But uh, so I need, to, I need to change those around a bit. Actually, I think last season was so poor that I'll probably just keep doing what I was doing last year and not do the crop rotation. But um, yeah, with the whole dieting thing and, and juicing, yeah, I can I can blast through some cucumbers nowadays. So uh, that's the main reason I'm doing all this stuff because a bunch of my diet is now is now fruits and veggies. So I'm gonna do what I can to to. I'm still gonna have some peppers, but probably not as many as last year uh, or the, the previous years. I think I'm gonna go more uh, more veggies. Is the main thing. Uh, probably end up doing some tomatoes this year. Uh, get the determinant type that way they don't sprawl everywhere. So doing all this cleaning. Um, of course I found my mints again, those rotten dogs, but look at that. It's a purple mint leaf. Who'd have thunk it? But all this stuff kind of intertwined in here is all mint and uh, if you want some mint I'll send you some and uh, my suggestion to you, if, uh, if you'd like some, is uh, keep them in a bucket, something that's where they can't get out, because they will take over your garden. All right, gang. Ooh-wee. I think I've had enough. <laughs> well, I don't know if uh, the weeds were just getting uh, stronger or if I was getting weaker, but uh, I got this row to go back through one more time, maybe. But all in all, I think uh, it's a pretty good start for the backside here. There's only just a little bit up front, but uh, so I moved all the mulch stuff over there in the back row. Hopefully you can see it. It just looks different through the phone. Anyways, uh, I say that's a gallant effort for a first day. Back on the back on the groove. And yeah, I'll just have to go back through this last one again. Like I said, I don't know if the weeds are getting tougher or I'm just getting weaker, but I've had enough. So, let me show you the pile. What ended up coming up with. Starts down here. And there's quite a bit of it, all the way back over to, back this way here. And so, I'm going to catch a little break, and um, if I get a wild hair, you know, I said I was going to have Dad's tractor around here, but to be honest, uh, I, can, I can hustle it over there. So, if I get the energy that I am looking for uh, after the outro, you will uh, see this pile gone from here. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Um, yeah, let me turn you around one more time. I'm trying to put the work gloves down for a minute and uh, catch my breath. <laughs> the Fitbit was uh, liking that. Uh, it scored me for uh, for exercise points. Yay, Fitbit! <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, uh, you know, not, I'm not a religious person, but isn't it neat to know that you can grow your own food right out of the ground? You, you know, right out of a bucket or a pail or whatever you might have room for. Uh, that's pretty darn awesome. You know, I'm not a religious guy, just saying. All right, um, I guess that's it for now. Again, if you see that pile gone, you know, still shot or something after the outro, well, I did it. If not, it'll be there tomorrow, by golly. All right, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for coming by. I will see y'all next time. I sure appreciate everybody uh, stopping in and uh, all the subscribers. And uh, hey, if you're new here, click the click the bell and click the uh, subscribe button and so on. Uh, it's kind of stuff I do sometimes. And just no telling what I might be doing. I just remind, uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Maniac Grammy. That's the way she does her outro. No telling what I might be doing. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks again, and I will see y'all next time. Cheers and uh, adios from the Drunken Moon. Plane, the plane. <laughs> See ya. Oh yeah, I still gotta shave this thing, right? Catch up with you later. Adios. Like, comment, and subscribe. Arr.